Hi, so this is Arlene. I'm on the tent for you in Rose, city of Rosemead and somebody's hitting my hand here. So I know it's somewhere on this side of the freeway because it's coming to my left hand. So I know it could be this truck right here, somebody in this side, or it could be a couple of the vehicles that are behind me. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go ahead and videotape. Uh, I know people are going to squirm in their car, but there's no really reason to squirm in your car if you're not doing anything, right? Right? Nothing reason to do. So anyways, it's somewhere off here. could be remote. I'm not really sure on this one, but I'm still getting hit on this hand, which is my driving hand, and there's like a group of cars back there that won't come forward. So it could be them. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to play it safe and I'm just going to record and then just put it up on YouTube. I'm telling you, do, don't be scared. I mean, I do look around but uh, to be aware of my surroundings, but don't be scared to uh, uh, record because people don't like being recorded. They do not want to get on camera. They just want to get that check and that's all they want. So anyways, um, I just wanted to note that on there. And um, that's about it. And then we have an MTA driver here. I don't know, sometimes I kind of think they're a part of it too. It's not like the MTA that's a part of it, but employees that work for the company. So I really shouldn't say that it's the actual company, but that car was hitting me earlier. Um, but I should say it's actually the employees. The companies, you can't say a company is actually doing it. Um, I think that's probably not a fair thing to say, but there are employees that, uh, front or Sam work for some of the companies that do do it and, um, how they're activated when I'm assuming they're activated when you're in the area and that's how they know. I'm sure a picture comes out of you. I'm sure there's some kind of video footage of you and your car. Or maybe there's an app that I don't even know about that exists uh, where they do do it. So that's beyond me. But I do know like for my protection I'll just record. And then I'll just upload it on YouTube. But the only bummer part is like right now, as I've mentioned before, I can't play any music because of copyright infringement laws. Otherwise, uh, YouTube can't upload my videos. So I have to be very careful about it. So I'm almost there. some kind of little transmitter went by out that I'm doing, coming with my video camera on and that's what I'm doing. Uh, to the right, I think this is, uh, what is this? I think this is, oh, Almani. That's what it is, Almani. And right now somebody's hitting me but then see sometimes I don't know if they're hitting me or triggering because I do have something that's been in, that's inside my car so I do know that and it doesn't always go on so that's why I'm not sure if they took it out and they just have a small device or if it's a car behind me which is that silver car infinity I'm not really sure that's the only bummer part, and I'm not, I don't know a lot about electronics and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't. So anyways, um, we're approaching the 605, and I, what I do is I take the 605 freeway home south to uh, Unincorporated Whittier. And that's why I go home. If 
you want to listen to legitimate people on YouTube, I can vouch that if you were to search, put a search in for Vulcan, B-U-L-C-A-N, and then Wolverine, and Brian 2, I believe it's B-R-Y-A-N, and then T-E-W, um, they're they have a lot of things to say, um, a lot of knowledge and experience because they've been going through this for years. And then there's also a Dr. Horton that um, is has a lot of information. Um, you'll slowly find uh, that there are people that have valid information out there, and then you'll find people that you know they're just putting the videos up, and um, it's not really true. So when I first started searching, uh, you really have to use your common sense and filter, uh, not get scared about anything and just try and um, take notes, study just like you are for class and, you know, get all the information and then uh, process of elimination, you'll know what is right and what is not right. So um, that's why. Now that car got out of the line and it's going up, way up in this Corolla. Oh, and that's a wet headed light. That's, um, I was listening to, um, the video of, a, um, the guy Vulcan, that's named Vulcan, Vulcan Wolverine. And he was talking about, oh, he's seen a lot of cars in his area with one, one light, one headlight on. And I just reminded me of that video and stuff. Um, yeah, so those are the people that uh, I think you should uh, look at. Here comes another one right here. Yeah, that car. I think he wants to get behind me. He got out of line. When you get out of line and you want to come behind me, then I know you're up to something if you really, really want to get behind me. Otherwise, you would just stay in line. There's no reason to want to get up and go behind me. Unless you've got some kind of device in your car and you want to give... Uh, that's the most likely the reason why. Is they probably have a device in their car. That's what I'm thinking. That's what most people do. You just don't know who. So anyways, um, this lane is merging with another lane and then the next exit will be to get on the 605 South and that's the way I will be going home. So we're passing the city of um, El Monte. Now that car pulled over for no reason. Unless they got hit or something. You will find a lot of people like they just like um, pull over. This car's not broken. That's for sure. So oh, you can see over there, if you can see, that's like, um, that's like Rose Hills and Rio Hondo College are up there. That's a Puente, oh, that's the Puente Hills uh, dump, the old dump that they closed. Okay, so we are getting to my exit and let me see, there's some cars coming. So I can't get over just yet. I need to get over and yeah, now I can get over. So this is uh, what I take is I take the 605 uh, south to Whittier. That's a riverbed that's dry. 
you're not in California, this is like not the greatest tour, but you get an idea. This car's pulled over, and it's a brand new car, and I don't think it's broken. I don't think they're having engine problems. You can't be pulled over on an emergent side of the road and, and um, with brand new tags on your car and have problems. So, yep, sure enough, the guy got back on the freeway. He's slowly riding down the emergency lane. Alright, I better get off now. I'm going to 